Hi, I'm Rob Griffith, Manager of Technical Support here at Ion Audio. Today, I'll be taking you through getting the Discover Guitar USB set up with the included Guitar Rig LE software on Mac or PC. First, connect the Discover Guitar USB cable to an available USB port on your computer. You can use a USB 1 port or a USB 2 port. It's compatible with both, though we do recommend you connect it directly to your computer. USB hubs or the extension ports on keyboards or external monitors should be avoided. Next, install the ASIO for All driver. Insert the included installation disk into your computer CD drive. The disk should automatically open. However, if Auto Run is disabled on your computer, you can access the disk by going to your Start menu, choosing Computer, and navigating to your disk drive this way. Double click ASIO for All to begin. During the installation, Windows may ask for your permission to proceed. Answer Yes, Allow, or Continue to any of these messages. Click Next, agree to the license agreement, click Next again, Next one more time, and then click Install. Click Finish. Next, install Guitar Rig LE. With the Discover Guitar USB cord connected to a USB port on your computer, navigate to and double click the Guitar Rig 4 Setup PC file on your installation disk. This will begin the installation process. During the installation, Windows may ask you for your permission to proceed. Answer yes, allow, or continue to any of these messages. Click next. Agree to the license agreement. Click next again. Next one more time. The installation will take about five minutes. We've sped up the motion on screen to keep the video short. Once the installation is finished, we recommend checking Run Service Center for product activation now, then click Finish. Guitar Rig 4 requires online authorization. You will need to obtain an internet connection in order to fully install the software. The first time you run Service Center, it will automatically update itself to the latest version. Once that's finished, click OK. If you own or use additional Native Instruments software, you probably already have a Native Instruments account. Enter your email address and your password for your existing account here. Otherwise, create a new account by clicking Create New User Account. We've sped up the motion on screen to keep the video short. Once you've filled in all the required fields, click Next to confirm your data. Once you have, click OK. Native Instruments will send a password to your email address. You'll need to log in and check your email to get your password. Once you've checked your email to get your password, enter it here. Then click Log In. The information on this page is optional. You can click OK to continue. On the next page, you'll be asked to enter your Guitar Rig 4 authorization code. This is included on the CD sleeve with your product. Once you've correctly entered it, the Activate button will illuminate at the bottom. Click this to continue. Once activation is complete, you should see all selected products have been activated. Next, click Update to see if there's any available updates to your Guitar Rig application. If there are, click Download. Any available updates will automatically download and install to your computer. This could take a few minutes. We've sped up the action on screen to keep the video short. Once your uploads have finished downloading, you should see this message. Click Yes. As part of the available updates, the Native Instruments Service Center suggested we download the controller editor setup for PC. This software is for an optional foot controller. So if you're just using the Ion Discover Guitar USB, you can skip installing this. You should run any updates available Guitar Rig 4. This installation will be exactly like the one you just completed. Double click it to begin. Once all of the available updates have been installed, you can close these windows. Click Exit to close the Native Instruments Service Center application. Now you're ready to begin using Guitar Rig LE4. Double click the icon on your desktop to begin. 
The first time you launch Guitar Rig, you'll be asked if you want to import Guitar Rig 3 banks. Click Yes. Next, let's configure the PC audio settings in your Guitar Rig LE software. In the software, choose File, then Audio and MIDI settings. In the window that opens, select the Audio tab at the top. Set Driver to ASIO, then set Device to ASIO for All V2. Next, click ASIO Config. The ASIO for All control panel will open. In the lower right, click the wrench. On the left, will be listed any audio input or output devices recognized by your computer. At the top should be listed your computer's built-in sound card. This is going to vary from system to system and may not be displayed exactly as you see it here. Underneath, the C-Media USB audio device represents the Discover Guitar USB cable. Click the plus next to each. You want to configure your built-in sound card as an output device and the Discover Guitar USB cord as an input device. At the bottom, set ASIO buffer size to 256. When you're done, close this window. Click OK to confirm your settings. Now we're ready to begin using Guitar Rig. <laughs> For more information or for further product support, visit www.ionaudio.com.